What's going on, everybody? So we're here in the wild, and we're trying to capture one of the most non-elusive creatures on planet Earth today. And that is the hoarder. And now here is clearly the den of a hoarder. Now, I'm no expert, but since this is online, let me pretend that I am. This person clearly has issues. Now, I don't know if it was traumatic issues from their youth, if it was traumatic issues from their adult life. Hell, I don't know if, it, if their great-great-grandparents lived through the Depression and had that mental mentality to save everything, and then that was genetically passed down in the DNA to this individual, which is scientifically possible because I'm online and I said so. But clearly, this person has issues and actually needs a storage locker full of tissues. Not this stuff. Let's go see if we can capture him. He's gotta be around here somewhere. Back in 1981, at a very young age. Look at that dude right there. Hey, he's so handsome. <laughs> so that's me in the apartments I grew up in. Uh, as you can tell behind, <laughs> it wasn't the best uh, living conditions. Uh, there was always plaster falling from the ceilings and the floor. Uh, as you can see the hole behind us there. Uh, and that's the couch I used to sleep on. There was three rooms, the living room, the middle room, which was my parents' bedroom, and then the kitchen. And so yeah, cockroaches and crappy <laughs> living environment. Uh, but it was home. And I think the place was broken into, I can remember, at least three different times. So yeah, not too good of a neighborhood. In the back alleys of South St. Louis. This was the backyard. I started dumpster diving with my mother. And you, this is the best your view you're gonna get, but this is the back of the apartment building of the place where we lived. We would search for items. This here picture was taken down in Ducoin, Illinois at my uh, aunt's house, Aunt Jessie. Uh, that's my mom in the picture there, but uh, and my sister, me sitting in the lawn chair, holding my Aunt Jessie's new dog, who I named Tinker, because I had some Tinker toys at the time I was playing with, so I named the dog Tinker. Uh, the other two are the two dogs I grew up with as a kid, uh, Whitey and Butchie. And I used to enjoy going down there because it was just, it was the only place we actually went to. It was, we never went on vacations or nothing. So it was like a vacation when we go down there for a holiday and what have you. And my aunt was the one who would, who bought me like my first bike and my first cassette player and things like that too. So that was always kind of cool. That we could find and take to auction. And Here is my brother who passed away in December of 2016 from pneumonia. He didn't go to the doctor. And by the time he was in the hospital, it was pretty much too late. So uh, he's, he was an auctioneer. And when me and my mom would find stuff in the dumpsters and take down to uh, my brother's auctions, he would, it wasn't his auctions, but he was an auctioneer down there. And uh, he would actually sell the stuff for us, basically. So everything's like a family connection. So it's kind of cool. Turn into cash. Almost two decades later, somebody told me about this web. <laughs> now this, when I first started the business, this is what my area looked like. A lot of what you see is my personal collection at the time, which I ended up selling to start the business. So um, what you're seeing like on the wall back there is a bunch of uh, very collectible CDs that I had sold. My Elton, jo Elton John pinball machine, I still have that. Um, I still have all my stereo equipment and stuff like that, but all those CDs, those were, those were the fuel I used to start my business, and uh, that and my video games, my video game collection, and I was able to get a, such a big collection because I worked in a music store for nine years, so I could get collectible CDs pretty cheap, and had lots of promos and things like that. So, and there's. That was the CD collection there too. At that very moment, a light bulb. Behind me, you can see some products that I had sold over the years. Uh, Star Wars, uh, plaque is a comic book, matted and what have you. 
Uh, there's a gopher from Caddyshack back there, a Batman plaque. Is it back into my wife? <laughs> Who are we going to rob? 7-Eleven. Get a slippy. I was able to quit my job and start a new adventure. I went from shopping at thrift stores because I had no money to shopping at thrift stores to make my money. I was at a thrift store one time and this guy was laying on the ground doing these aerobics to a, a video he was playing on one of the TVs. Got a kick out of that. Ellie, since 2001, welcome to the Redoption Agency. You see a lot of plush in the video. I love plush. I was selling plush before it was a thing. <laughs> but there's a breakdown of my intro when I use it. Haven't used it lately. So there you go.